guys like the video before it even starts because my husband's so stressed trying to set up a studio over here Woo! here's the deal i am in the middle of moving i sound like a horse because i'm sick so it's not covid it's just cold because i have a toddler in school and she literally brings home every germ you can imagine. So, today I'm gonna show you something that I probably shouldn't, okay? I'm gonna show you how to dye your hair at home. This is a little secret that I think is worth everyone knowing, and it really doesn't hurt hairstylists, to be honest with you. Today, I'm here to talk to you about a secret. This is my favorite hair color. Number one, if I had to pick one color that I cannot live without, 11V from Goldwell Top Chic. It's a permanent hair color. It's the lightest blonde you can get. And I'm gonna go through the routine. Super simple. Takes two products at home, a bowl and a brush, okay? A small mirror, not rocket science. It's the lightest blonde that you can get. That's just hair color, that's not bleach, okay? I'm gonna be using permanent 20 volume developer. So this is a permanent color. That just means it's gonna lift your natural hair. And this just means it's the developer that couples with this technology. So you're gonna take your tube of 11V. This is Goldwell, the brand. Uh, and I'm gonna put in, it takes about a quarter of my hair, a quarter of the tube for my hair. Let me see, is this reflecting a lot on the camera? No, it's good. So, ooh, oh my God, did you see that? I like almost toasted my arm. It was like, I felt it sizzle. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm burning myself. Oh, also, see how I have a ton of grays? And they're gonna blend the grays. It's not going to fully cover, but that's perfect because it looks like highlights. Literally, it's gonna look like, you just gave yourself platinum highlights, hooray, but they're free. If you do this, it's just like if you do a brown root color, okay? If you do any root color, you don't wait for the roots to be huge because there's a heat from your scalp that's gonna process that small area faster than the subsequent inch. So what you wanna do is just get that little tiny regrowth. That should be two to three weeks. Let's do about a quarter of the tube, okay? 20 volume, and you're supposed to do this one to one or one to two ratio. So one measurement to the same equal parts of developer, color to developer, or one to two if you want it to be a little bit thinner. Just gonna apply it on my roots. If you get messy, you, it's still gonna work. It's not like bleach. It's not like you have to be, your sections have to be perfect in terms of um, overlap. Like, no, I would never recommend that you go get bleach and do it yourself because someone needs to be staring at every inch. Someone needs to be controlling. Someone should be if, you're, if you care about the health of your hair. So V stands for violet and Violet is literally going to put this blue, very, very blue tone in your hair. Um, Violet in Goldwell is not purple, it's blue. What you're gonna see is where you touch the area that's been bleached, is you're literally gonna see blue hair. And it'll wash out to this beautiful white blonde in about two to three washes. Um, but if you're like picky about your blonde and you're really not out, not okay with blue for a couple washes, you're gonna be upset and be like, Fernanda, you turned my hair blue. Welcome back to the new studio. <laughs> we moved because the sun was creeping up on us. I was like, I was realizing when I was up there, I was like, wait, for a first time, truly first time person dyeing their hair at home, they don't even know how to part the hair. So use a, a brush, right? This is a color applicator from, you can get it at Sally's, Amazon, anywhere. Um, use the tip of it that's like skinny like that um, to part a nice straight line. And with that itself, kind of follow the hair within here, grab all the hair, split it. So split your hairline, grab the hair right, like grabbing right at the brush, pull it out so it's a nice straight line. And then with the other side, apply. So as I part this next section, you can see, can you see the last time that 11V was applied? Can you see how it's this orangey brown right here? That was the last time my hair was virgin. And that's all that it dyed it to. It didn't dye it blonde. So that's actually all the results you're gonna get in one application of 11V if your hair is as dark as mine. It's not gonna get your hair blonde like this blonde at the tips at all. But the progressive application and reapplication of it and overlap of it on itself, once it's already now the golden brown, right? And then a gold, like a yellow kind of blonde 
that's how you're gonna get to that lighter, more ash blonde. And you can stop anywhere in between. Like I'm often happy with a golden blonde. Sometimes it feels a little brighter, warmer, summerier. So I like that and I let it be. Sometimes I feel like ashing it all down. So I just drag it all the way through. What are we doing? We're parting. We grab the hair right at the brush. And we're lifting nice and tight. And to keep it a little cleaner, kind of push it so that the color holds onto it. Try to go on that um, area of regrowth really well. But again, if you get overlap, that's only gonna help that brown, that's only barely brown, get lighter. So that's a good thing. How do you do the back? Um, people are always asking me. I honestly could close my eyes and do the back. I'm not even joking that, I'm not trying to say that like, as if I'm good. I'm saying that I'd rather close my eyes and feel like where I'm, I am in the back. But you absolutely could have two mirrors. So if that's like, if you think that that sounds insane, like you could never close your eyes and do this in the back and you would like miss where you are, um, put two mirrors, put one back here so you can physically see. Welcome to the back of my head. <laughs> We're gonna do our whole hairline first. And I try to just do a part, you know, more or less. Is this going to be patchy if you leave it just like this? So yeah, of course it would be patchy. But because this color could be overlapped and there's no issue at all with it touching the one that's already been touched before, um, we're just going to move it around. And this isn't bleached, so it will spread a little bit. Now I did these rough parts kind of vertically. I'm going to do some horizontal parts, and then I'm gonna move it around with my fingers. I've just about used every bit of color in my bowl. I'm gonna take this last tiny bit and really get in as if you're trying to do a root scrub. I bet you've never watched a video from the back of someone's head for this long. I'm just gonna keep moving it around a little bit in the front so that way I don't have any spotting and it's perfect. So that's all I'll be doing for the next probably two minutes or so, and then you want this to process for 20 minutes, okay? That's my huge tip for you today, is how to be able to get really professional looking results in a way that's not gonna damage your hair. You can do it at home and is literally so easy that you can master this and doesn't take a lot of skill. That first half inch, warm brown. However, it's so small that it serves as a perfect shadow root. where the warm brown go right after that? We covered it up by taking out some of the warmth and lifting it more just by redoing it. I'm gonna stay right here so you guys can see how natural that falls. Look at that. Like it looks like you just got a bunch of highlights. Remember, only don't do this if you're a very picky person with exactly what shade of blonde you want or, which is okay, like just be honest with yourself. If that's you, don't do it. Go to a professional, sit down, let them do it. Even having someone wash your hair, do it, not doing the whole at home DIY thing, that's special, you know, and that's okay. That's a lot of people. But if you're like, oh, I can, I can master this and let me find a stylist that's actually showing me what products exactly to use, how to do it, then this is a video for you. Any product tips, any knowledge tips, anything that you want to know hair related, let me know in the comments below and I will see you in next week's video. Bye.